Good morning, Clear Branch kids, and happy December. And it may seem a little early to go ahead and say Merry Christmas, but I will, because this month we are all wrapped up in Christmas. And I'm sure you would agree that there are so many wonderful, fun things to do and to get ready for and to be excited about this month as we prepare for Christmas. But the most important thing that we have to celebrate is the most wonderful gift that anyone has ever been given, and that's the gift that God gave us in His Son, Jesus. So the last few months, you may remember, we've been going through the Bible from the beginning, learning stories of all the different people that came along in God's kingdom. And we're gonna continue that, but we're fast forwarding in a while to a certain man, a prophet of God's, whose name was Isaiah. Now you may remember that God's people had asked for kings and God gave him a king in King Saul and then later in King David. But after King David's son, Solomon died, the Israelites split into two groups and things kind of fell apart. Meanwhile, God kept trying over and over to get his people to do like he asked them to do, to live in the right way and to come back to him. So he would talk to his people and give them instructions through prophets. And this particular prophet was named Isaiah. Now Isaiah was, um, he not only worked with the king of that part of the country, but he also spoke to God's people with instructions for them. And in this particular time, God gave him some really good news to share with his people. And what he told them is that there would come a time where God was going to send them a rescuer, a Messiah. And this person he described in very specific ways. First, he said that he would be a wonderful counselor, that he would be somebody wise that could advise them and give them um, instruction and help them to know how to live. Then he said that he would also be mighty God, which seems a little confusing because if this person was gonna to come to earth, how could he be both the Messiah and also be God? But we know that Jesus is part of the Trinity. Then he also described him as being the father who lives forever. And again, this speaks to the fact that Jesus and God are all part of the same. Then he also described Jesus as the prince who brings peace. We know that the most important peace that Jesus brought was the peace that his sacrifice of his life for us made between each of us as Christians and God. But he also teaches us how to bring peace with each other as well, which is also a wonderful gift. Now, people became very excited when they found out that God was sending them this Messiah, and they all had images as to what this would look like. And of course, we know because we've read the Bible and looking back that Jesus' birth didn't happen the way that they thought it would happen, and his coming into um, power, if you will, didn't look the way they thought it was going to look. But the other thing is that they thought, this is going to happen soon. This is coming right now. It was 700 years after this prophecy before Jesus actually came to live among us and to start his ministry. So here's what I want you to remember, guys. And as we are getting ready to, as we're going through the season of waiting, getting ready for Christmas, sometimes it seems like the things we're looking forward to are never going to happen. Just like the Israelites probably got to a point where they felt like Jesus was never really going to come. We have to remember that God has a plan. Even when we can't see it, when we don't know how things are going to happen, or we don't know or understand how something is going to work out, God loves us. He cares for us. He's always with us and he always has a plan and we can trust that plan.